Hi there, it's Nicole here today with a watercolor stamped Seasons Greetings card. I have combined some stamps from My Favorite Things, some dies from Simon Says Stamp, and then the poinsettia flowers from Hero Arts. So kind of a mismatch of all kinds of things today. I'm going to start with the large script background from My Favorite Things and some smooth white cardstock that I've already trimmed down to about four by five and a quarter inches, not quite the size of an A2 card. And I rubbed over the paper with a powder tool first, inked up my stamp with Versamark ink, and then I'm gonna press my paper to my stamp and I'm just using a piece of scratch paper here to make sure I rub over the surface of the cardstock really well. And then I'll peel that up and I'm going to take some white embossing powder and sprinkle that all over the surface of my card. You can see the embossing powder sticking to anywhere where I have stamped already. I'm going to be creating a, an embossed resist background here with the script that will still show up in white after I have applied the Distress inks over this. And so I have heat embossed it, and now I'm going to take some forest, or maybe I'll start with my crushed olive. I'll start with the crushed olive distress ink and rub that onto my cardstock. Or this might be the forest moss. I can't tell which one I started with. It goes from kind of lightest to darkest. So I think this is maybe, maybe even bundled sage. I have the exact colors I used listed and linked below the video here. So I'm rubbing that over and you can see anywhere that I have applied the Distress ink or anywhere that has the embossing has resisted the Distress ink. Now this is the Forest Moss. It's my definitely my darkest. I'm gonna just rub that all over the bottom and work it up the card getting dark, getting lighter as I go higher. I want it the darkest to be at the bottom, and as I move up, it to definitely be lighter. I just wanted a kind of ombre effect in the background where it goes from lightest to darkest. And then I will blend the colors together until I get exactly the color that I want there. Go back with my lighter color and really, really blend it out. Once I have it exactly the way I want it to look, and I did decide I needed a little bit more dark at the bottom, I can take a dry paper towel and wipe off any of that excess that may have beaded up on top of the embossing. So I'm going to set that aside for a second while I work on the rest of my card. And you may have noticed at the beginning of the video with the finished card, I had a frame. I'm using this My Favorite Things frame die, and I'm cutting it from some Simon Says Stamps black cardstock, and I'm going to be cutting three of these to create a dimensional type frame that goes right around that embossed background. So I will glue these one right on top of another. It almost gives it a chipboard effect, and it gives it a little bit of dimension that I really like for a frame type look like this. So I have my three frames now, and I can glue those one right on top of another to frame up that really pretty background. I'm gonna to need to trim down my background. It was slightly larger than the frames and I definitely don't want that peeking out around the edges of the frame. That kind of ruins that whole look. So there's what that will look like. So while I, I can, I'm gonna set that aside so I can stamp my embellishments now. And I'm going to be using this poinsettia from Hero Arts, the large poinsettia. And I'm going to use distress markers to color in my flower before I stamp it. And I'm using some of the Festive Berries, Fired Brick, and Forest Moss Distress inks. So I'll start with my lightest red color, and then I'll go to my darker. 
using a little bit of that bundled sage marker as well and then go back in with my darker forest moss. This gives just a little variation of color in the finished design. I added a little green to the middle there it looks like as well. Then I'm going to stamp that on some watercolor paper and you can see I've already done one up above and it didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted it to. So when you stamp with the distress markers or inks like this and they kind of have a dry look. But the great thing about distress inks and markers is that they react with water. So by taking just a tiny bit of water and brushing it over these stamped designs, it really blends out the ink and fills in any of those areas that maybe look like it didn't get stamped very well. Same goes for the red petals. I did the leaves first, but when I go back in with a little bit of water, it fills in the floral so nicely. You might want to leave a little bit of white like I'm doing here in between the petals just to give it that definition of flower petals so it doesn't all blend and bleed together. It's one of those things that is really easy to go too much on. <laughs> you get to going and you really just, it's hard to stop I think. Now I'm using a little bit of the fired brick and going in with my paintbrush and just adding that on top of the lighter red color to give it a little bit more definition of color. I'm smoothing it out quite a bit but it, the two tones of color really help make it look more natural and realistic. Then I'm just adding a few dots of color to the center of my flower. I got a little too much so I'll dab that with a paper towel and I'll set that aside to dry. I can even go back in with my marker and add some little dots if I, if I blended it out a little too much. Now once it is dry I'm taking the Wink of Stella clear glitter brush pen and brushing over all of those flower petals to give it that nice little subtle shimmer and sheen. The Distress Inks will react with the Wink of Stella marker, so you'll want to use a pretty light hand or go pretty quickly. I'm going to use the Coordinating Hero Arts Poinsettia die to die cut my flower. So now that I have my large flower, I need some smaller ones. And to do that, I decided to use the Simon Says Stamp Poinsettia border dies. And I die cut them from watercolor paper and then I brushed some of the Distress inks on my craft mat, added a little water, and then I'm just kind of brushing the pieces with my watercolors until I get all of my pieces watercolored. Now for my greeting, I'm going to die cut and stamp on some vellum. I'm going to stamp first using the Seasons Greetings sentiment from the same stamp set that the poinsettia came from. I'll stamp that with Versamark ink and then I'm going to emboss this with some glitter black embossing powder and I'll heat set that and then use the My Favorite Things flags or fishtail flags die to die cut that so I can kind of pop it under one side of my frame. So I want to make sure I get that lined up just perfectly and I love that there's so many different sizes of these fishtail flag dies. That way you can get the one that works perfectly for the sentiment that you're using. I'll die cut that and I'm not using the whole die. I only die cut a portion of it. Now if too much of the definition of the die cut pieces from Simon Says Stamp goes away, you can go back in with your marker. After I had set those aside to dry while I did the sentiment, I really thought I lost a little too much of the definition. So I went back in with my marker, drew in some of those lines following the dye lines there, and then blended them out with some water. Let those dry again. While those are drying, I will go ahead and adhere my frames one on top of another to give it that dimensional look. And I should also mention the, the water coloring dries really quickly. You are not using a ton of water for any of these. It's a pretty light hand with the water, so they do dry really fast. 
Okay, once I have my frame, I can start putting it all together. I'll add some adhesive on the back of that last one and pop it right over. Actually, I'll take my watercolor or my distressed background right to that frame. Pop part of my flower underneath and part on top. I think that gives it a little bit more fun, natural look. And I'm going to layer all of these Simon Says Stamp poinsettias for some dimensional flowers, and then I'll pop that vellum underneath the left side. And I like that it kind of has that. I put a little adhesive under here, but it really, I, I didn't want it to stick down too, too much. I kind of like that it flips up a little, gives it a little bit of movement. I'll use some glue dots to layer my poinsettias. And I'll pop some of the small leaves underneath as well using the mini or bling or small glue dots. They are really come in handy for things like this. You can play with your flower till you get it to look exactly the way you want it to look. Add all these leaves. And I'm going to add my last poinsettia up there by the greeting. It kind of helps tie the whole design together by doing it this way. I'm trying to figure out the best place to position that. It gives that nice rule of thirds. So it naturally draws your eye from that top left corner to the right side and down. The leaves finish that whole thing off. I love how well the Hero Arts poinsettia stamp set and dies work with the Simon Says stamp. They really work nicely together, together to give you a nice variation of flower sizes. Again, I'm going to go back over the poinsettias with the Wink of Stella clear glitter brush marker so that all of my poinsettias have that nice glitz and glimmer, perfect for the holidays. And then I'll finish with some green gemstones scattered in the centers of the flowers and then kind of throughout the card. Adds a nice bit of dimensional embellishment, but not too much dimension. Still makes it easy to send through the mail. These are some doodlebug pearl gemstones finish off with a couple here scattered just about and then I'll pop the whole thing on a white card base and that will finish up this card design perfect for Christmas time just a little adhesive on the back of this there's quite a bit of dimension so no foam adhesive on the back of this one I hope you've enjoyed this video showcasing some watercoloring and distress background resist techniques. All the supplies I've used are listed and linked below the video on YouTube. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.